All right, before I get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutations to the Akim that's pushing his word throughout the four corners of the globe in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Zayana Ma from the GMS Detroit by camp. All right, and I'm coming to you with another video, you know, dealing with humility, humble pie. Hey, hey, and the Most High is going to serve a big slice of humble pie, you know, notably to uh, to Esau and two-thirds of our people, you know. He's going to mash his face in, in, into this humble pie that you see here on the screen, you know, because Esau's pride has exceeded, you know, to the heavens, right? He, he think that through his military might, you know, his his uh, wealth that he's obtained, you know, through slavery, through the backs of the the backs, the backs, the sweat and the tears of the uh, and the blood. OK, of the so of the uh, so-called Negroes, Latin and Native Americans. All right. He's he's amounted all this prior to where he he think he, he can't be moved you know, um, out of his power. But the Most High is going to show him, all right? He's going to show him better than he can tell him. The Most High hey, is playing the same deck that he uh, played with Pharaoh in the times of Egypt, you know? So, hey, basically the same thing is going to go down <laughs> to where Esau has been set up, you know, placed on high but yet the most high he's going to bring them low and he's going to do it where the whole world can can witness it you know so that everyone in the earth they will learn what we what we already believe they will know and understand that there's a higher power all right that's there's a greater force that's been moving this whole earth the whole time that's been controlling this whole this uh earth the whole time you know and hey, even two thirds of our people that's joined hand in hand with this, with this devil, all right, that's uh, all tied into Esau's society, into his technology, into his way of life, his understanding. Okay, to do as thy will, to do what feels good, all right, to uh, say whatever you want to say without there being any. Uh, uh, you know, judgment. You know, dressing how you want to dress. You know, men with men and women with women, and all this nonsense. And just being free, like the hey, the, the Most High, he's about to hey, he about to shoot all that shit down, quick, fast, in a hurry. All right. Hey, what the scriptures say, pride go up before a fall. All right? So, hey, if you can't see the pride in this this American system, okay, a.k.a. Babylon, then you're not watching, you know? You're not on watch. You're not peeping game, so to speak. But uh, just real, real, real quick. It's one of my favorite scriptures, you know, dealing with the proud and how the Most High is going to just, <laughs> all right, he's going to bring him back to that base man, all right, that he's always been. You know, he's a base man now. You can see that through his, uh, basically, hey, through, through his policies, all right, through just looking around, you know. You got, you got trash, all right, that's in the uh, in the seas, all right. You got trash in your food. The water is trash, you know, your air is trash, right? The neighborhoods that you, you walk through are trash, all right, and just filthy and disgusting. You know, so I, all this shit has to be burned up and cleansed, right? 
we have to the earth needs to go through a purifying uh period so things can be made made afresh you know but dealing with this this devil okay better known as Esau all right or Edom all right meaning red the red man all right as well as two-thirds two-thirds of our people okay this is Isaiah this is Isaiah 2 and I'm gonna start at 11 And he reads, The lofty looks of man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. Okay, that self same day, right? That Esau is destroyed, that America is laid down, right? The Most High is going to be truly put. You know, put on high, put on high. You know, in the eyes of the people. You know, the eyes of the people are going to be. You're going to be in awe. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be in subjection. All right, to the Creator, to Yahweh. All right, man. All these those those proud looks. Uh, those people with they you know, chin in the air, so to speak. You know, looking down on the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. All right, calling us bywords and proverbs, making us uh, basically um, making us a spectacle unto the world, always showing the negative side of our people. You know. All these other heathen nations coming in that community, looking down on us and getting over on us, all right, and storting us, all right. All these nations are going to be brought low, all right. It reads, For the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. And upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Okay, because hey, for those that didn't catch, you know, get the memo, all right, Esau is going into hardcore slavery. All right. So yes, the saying goes, you know, and what goes around comes around. It's true indeed. All right. There's many scriptures that, that speak about recompense, that speak about, you know, get back. Alright? That's true justice. Alright. Hey, Esau, he's 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 a fugitive, fugitive, you know, on the loose. You know, he hasn't been judged, you know, as a nation as of yet. Alright, for what he did to the so-called Negroes, Latin and Native Americans. But hey, he's gonna catch. He's gonna catch double the hell that he put those people through. All right. It says, um, well, you know what? That's pretty much the point. Matter of fact, another script I get. Because to be proud, you know, it's a detestable thing. It's not a good look, you know. Especially, especially you know, with us being just earth and ashes, you know. And then of all people, you know, Esau, you know, having that, he doesn't even have his his his. Uh, color you know he's not even considered human but yet you know he wants to be or he's set up as the beauty of America 
You know? It's like that's nonsense. You know, he, he's the uh, uh, the standard, if you will, of righteousness. When he does nothing right, you know? He's wicked. But real quick, this is um, Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things doth Yahweh hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Hey, and Esau is guilty of all those things tenfold. All right? It says, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow discord among brethren. Okay. Which is another thing, you know, that he does. You know, he's hey, he's he's Satan, you know, on earth. He's the accuser of our brethren also. You know? But God, he, he sows discord in the sense that You know, he's taking everything away from the uh, so-called natives, Latin and Native Americans, right? But yet, you know, he'll leave it be to where, you know, he leave it to where he'll select, you know, twos and fews of our people, you know, to, to come up, so to speak. And, um, you know, and through that, you know, he creates that divide because, you know, he'll set our people up, but yet our people get, they get this platform, but they basically been given, you know, a gag order. They've been given di different types of um, uh, limitations on what they can and can't do. So really in hindsight, they're even more of a slave than just the regular Jake. Because he has, you know, Jacob gets set up. He has all this power and money. But he can't do shit with it. You know, he has to be stingy, so to speak. Or he has to give it to a charity of, of Esau's, you know, liking. You know, he can't. But he can't necessarily help out the hood, so to speak. You know. But, um. I hate to be sure with this video, but you know, just basically, hey, Esau, he's gonna get served up this humble pie, you know, nice and hot, all right? And uh, that's how the story goes, you know? He's going into hardcore slavery under the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. That's gonna be the next kings and priests rulers of the whole globe all right and once we age, once we get in power we're going to stay in power so hey, with that i'm going to give all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim rakakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders a great millstone that rule well and peace and salutations to the akim expression his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shadow one.